Bro, if you, like how you dress right now, if you was walking through, I don't think anyone would be like, it's Halloween. You know how many times that's actually happened to me? Like <laughs> yeah. Halloween where I throw on a fit and they're like, is that like an actual yeah. fit or a yeah. costume? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, well, I guess. First of all, I got to address, I've, I've had a week of getting dragged. Is it the stash? Or no, the no, I, I had the, the herpes scare. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Because they, they, you know, they, they, it was on World Star Hip Hop. Yeah. Yesterday. The herpes clip? The herpes clip, yeah. Oh, no. Nice. That means the, we're big time. The clip. But they, you, it, it makes you realize, like, how how fake the, everything is. Everything is. Because yeah. they literally took it and they were like, they titled it, Man Says That He Prefer, herpes. instead of like, comedian on comedy podcast jokes about. Hey, man. <laughs> free advertising. They, they really, they really took it as like a thing. And uh, shout out, first of all, shout out to all the adulterers because we had a couple outlets that picked it up mm -hmm. and it was like adulterers who were like in the comments laughing. That's fire. And trolling them and being like, he's literally joking. joking. Yeah. And then a bunch of people were like, nah, he definitely got herpes. Carmen can't handle it. Yeah, I saw that. Too. And I was like, I mean, I don't, but also like, I'm like, a lot of people in these comments probably do. do. And I, it's a very common thing. And you actually like standing up for them. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to alienate nobody. them. Yeah, I yeah. don't mind having the herpes fan base. I don't mind any fan base. Um, At this point, yeah, I'm an ally. I I I don't. But just the stash. Yeah, I'll 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 be there for you if you want to support the podcast. Can we uh get t-shirts and stash we trust? And stash we trust. Yeah, I, th I think I think this is probably the last month. Oh, come on, man! Unless unless this looks works out, I'm thinking about just going this out is, like this. This is it. It's good for the cowboy. Exactly, it's, it's a good look, right? You're giving real like Wyoming vibes. Thanksgiving, I don't know. Uh, it's it's, it's a little political, but you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, but no, it's good. Happy Halloween, everybody! Hey, if you can't tell, this is our Halloween episode. Um, I've been accosted to say that this is probably how I dress in real life. So I don't know if it's Halloween or if it's just a Tuesday. I like it. You're Jerome from Martin. Right? Watch him out. Yeah, no, that's good. I love him. Romy Rome. He's one of my favorite characters. Of all time. Martin. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to go on a, um, on a Martin Halloween spree. I've done, I did the episode where he did the, uh, for the Walkman. You remember the Walkman? Yeah. The dog, yeah. yeah. The, the, the that, that was the, um, the, uh, the CD player. Yeah, 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 they're they're mocking the um, uh, New, Jack New Jack City. City. Yeah, I did that yeah. one time. I feel like a lot of people didn't catch that. one. No, that one's hard to catch. That it's just a black on black turtle. Yeah, with the yeah. dog. You had the dog. The dog. Yeah. I, uh, I went to a, a dog store and got it. Yeah. Um, and a fit gold chain. And then uh, this again, this looks like maybe something I might wear. Oh yeah, that looks good. I didn't dress up this year. This is just something I'm trying. Oh. Um, just you know, for the fall. New York Cowboys. Yeah. Okay. I feel like. You walk down the street. You walk into a bar like this on a regular day. I feel like you're gonna get. You, you get a drink. I'll get yeah, a beer. you get a free drink. The crazy part is like, especially in a city like New York City, like we were talking about. This is this is somebody's everyday fit. Yeah, I mean, the crazy part is in Montana. This is somebody's everyday, everyday fit. fit. Yeah, and we're like dressed up as them. <laughs> yeah, you're giving like real Wyoming vibes. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's actually nice. It's quite nice. I feel good. I feel like you know, you feel powerful. Does. Yeah, I feel like you know, I I, I feel like I could. Buck a cow. Is that a thing? <laughs> okay. I think, I think that's what they call it, right? Bucking? Yeah. Yeah. Knock bucking. Sweet honey bucking. Bucking. You're from a farm. What, what Whoa. Is <laughs> a close one. No, I don't know if cow bucking is a thing. Cow tipping is a thing. Cow, cow tipping. tipping. That's what's, the thing. what's cow tipping? Or just bucking a horse. Over. Bucking a horse. Yeah. yeah. What is that? It's when you like. A Talk horse is like with its back legs, like bucking. Oh, okay. Uh, trying to kick out. Yeah. Or a it's bull. It's tassels though. I love the tassels. Yeah. We we need to incorporate this into like New York fashion. I Get some tassels. Do. Yeah. I, I feel like cowboy boots are a big thing with women right now because yeah. of the cowboy Carter of it all. Uh, and like it's just because like Beyonce? Yeah. Yeah. Ca cowboy boots are uh they're very expensive too. Like they're not ones, cheap. Yeah, good ones. They, they could be up upwards of a thousand dollars. And a good hat too. Yeah. A good cowboy hat. Shout out to everybody in Nashville. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to Nashville. Uh next year for a bachelorette. Bachelor yeah. Oh, that's yeah. next year? Yeah. Oh, when next is that? Spring. Next spring? Yeah. That's fun. You guys looking forward to that? I'm as excited. Are you part know. of the wedding at all? Yeah. Bridesmaid? Bridesmaid? Yeah. I got a I'm a best man for a wedding. Oh, sugar. Yeah, I got a, I got to plan a bachelor party. Oh, man. Yeah, it's in 2026, so it's oh, still Oh, so you got some time. It still might not happen, so <laughs> let the, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, let so much grow. leeway. Yeah. yeah, I got to wait till it get a little closer. Have you have you noticed that like 
bachelor parties or asking people to be your groomsmen has almost taken on a life of its own as like, you know, with women who ask for their bridal party, like now guys are giving gifts and it's Oh yeah, I got a gift. You did? Yeah. What'd you get? The, it was a it was a blue label bottle of of Johnny Walker. Okay, that's, that's nice. That's nice. That's yeah. classy. It was that's a small one. It could have went bigger, but hey. you know. Yeah. See, I'm getting like a freaking Yankee candle and like a frame picture of. But you're not. Like, you're I don't not made of honor though. Thing. Yeah. But. Made of honor. You got to. You got to go bigger. Yeah. Because it costs a lot to be a made of honor. Costs a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And just and the time too. I don't want to be asked to be a bridesmaid. And it's a vacation I don't want to go on. That's true. But you're also like the point person. As yeah, as made of honor. Yeah, you yeah, got to do a lot. Do all I, I find that white women they be going on a lot. They be doing a lot of weddings. Like it's mm. insane. Like I got I got some friends where they they're like I'm like you're literally at a wedding every month. Like how do you especially now at this age everybody's getting married. it's a hobby. Yeah. Just going to weddings. I was yeah. at one at the beginning of October. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're expensive. They're expensive. They are not cheap. Yeah, you got to get a gift, a costume. I'm talking about for everybody. Well, this was actually a question I had on here. Like, what do you guys think? Because now, like, flying to people's hometowns is so normal. Like, people asking you to fly in from out of town for their wedding. Like, what type of gift do you think is appropriate when you're already Drop buying bread. a flight, buying a hotel or an Airbnb? Like, that's already on a good weekend, $500. Like, yeah. what type of gift do you think is appropriate for that couple? You're coming to the right people. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm from the Dominican Republic. We, don't, okay. we, we only believe in cash. So <laughs> we, we, uh, we, need it, we need it in, in, uh, in a, greenbacks. Okay. <laughs> That's that's pretty sure. Yeah, on. that's yeah. that's what yeah, we need. We don't need a to we don't need a toaster. No. We don't need an air fryer. I mean, Give me cash. A hundred dollars in a car. Yeah, not yeah. even a gift card because I don't even know <laughs> yeah. what the but deal with this. You is. might have scraped it off. Give me, already. give me <laughs> green backs. You know? I'm from Ghana, West yeah. Africa, and they have a, a tradition. It's the money dance yeah. where they just pour money. It's almost like strippers, but they just pour money on a bride and groom. To the shmoney dance. The shmoney dance. Yeah. Yeah. But and then you put the cash in it. Yeah. yeah. And then they just make it rain. So yeah. cash is king. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. we spoke about this. How, how much do you think is appropriate? Yeah. I do, think it And might... do you think do you think what you do for a living should mm -hmm. depend on how much you gift? I think there's a limit to that cuz it's like if you're flying in I also think age is a limit. I'm like I'm 27 and I work in entertainment. My present is my presence. Plus, right. like maybe if I like I'm giving like unless I'm going to I'm probably giving like a fifty dollars something. Like that's as far as I'm gonna go. What you think that's low? I mean, I gave my friend like a two hundred fifty dollar bottle of tequila. If I'm when he just got a, married, that's nice. But he's a you good gave that friend. for a wedding gift. Yeah, that's more of a bachelor party gift. Yeah, the well, two fifty is good. And then the you're saying I'm too low. Actual well, wedding does she drink? Low. As a guest, go a hundred. If you could do fifty, you could do a hundred. But I don't want to. Why, why do not? 100. But that's an even hundred. Even hundred. You can't get mad at a hundred. You could get mad at fifty. And and then where are you, <laughs> where are you flying to? Because a hundred dollars in New York is five dollars. So if you're flying somewhere where you know this one, he was in Chicago. A hundred dollars in New York is zero. Is zero. Yeah, it's, no, it's you nothing. Gave, it's the negative. You gave nothing. You're disrespectful <laughs> if you gave. Literally, yeah, you yeah. gave nothing. Okay. Yes. Okay. What what is where is it where are you flying to? Chicago? Shot China? Chicago, but I'm not in the bachelorette party. I'm just a guest. It's expensive though. Chicago's expensive. Chicago's I flew expensive. in. I I'm getting an Airbnb. I bought a new it's dress because they it's need a formal attire. I'm like, this is a six hundred fifty dollar event. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, but what's the venue? It was a nice venue. That's the big. That's because yeah. they pay for plate. And, and and you should at least cover your plate. And What's the that's the that's the basic spread. rule? What's the the level of alcohol? Top shelf. It's the basic rule. You pay for your plate. You're paying for your plate. You look at the place and you could tell. Okay, this is probably hundred per person, one fifty per person, two hundred per person, the, and then you got to give that. The real trick is take the cash out, but you don't want to put it on the envelope until you're there because you want to gate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you know, maybe. May, on the lower end, 100, between 100 and 300, depending on if you're a plus one, if you have you're a plus one. I think 27 is the last wait. age you could give 100. I think after 27, it's, it's, 100 it's 150. Yep. Mm. I'm going to start saying no to people. The price yeah. goes up. Yeah, you got to say, no. say no. Key, you gotta key. Say no. You got to say no. At that age, 27, I was on a plane every, like, every quarter going for a different wedding. What do you think you gift your best friend? <sighs> I don't even know if you can put a monetary value on it. If it's your best friend, does that mean that you're in a wedding party? Yeah, I would assume so, right? Maybe your bachelor bridesmaid. 
Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I, um, yeah, there's no price tag on it. It depends. Because it could be something super sem uh, sentimental, too. Yeah. See, but you're like a starving artist. That's kind of nice when you're a starving artist because you're just like, you know, I, I, I'll get it. I'll get you when I make when it. When I make Maybe, it. When you I know, touch you down. stop being friends with them. Been a big line I've been used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you Better cut them out of your life. Yeah. It's nice because they don't follow up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But once you did some things, you gotta you, you gotta, gotta circle like, back. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the biggest things for me. Like once I did my first TV things, I couldn't. I oh, had to stop rich. cheap gifting. You're rich. I couldn't. I just started not. Going. I was gonna say, did people start knocking on your door for gifts? No, they don't knock on my door. They just invite me more. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, soft knock. Yeah, I just get invited to more things it. than I yeah. than I used to do. And uh, and then there's a there's a expectation. But I, I like to gift. You know. I like to be a I like to be a gift giver. Is that your mm. love language? Do you have no. a belt buckle too? Yeah. Oh, you went full yeah. cow. Like, Holy smoke. Is this yeah. is this is this uh PG 13? Um <laughs> you went full out. With what? With the with the whole costume. This is not a costume. Did you ride a horse here? <laughs> this is my fit. Did you park your horse like outside? I have shows tonight in, in this. This is hilarious. <laughs> Do you want me to be your security? <laughs> like <laughs> Nobody us messing two, with a cowboy. Yeah. Us two walking down the street is crazy. Yeah. On a I random Tuesday. <laughs> well, when do the costumes start? Because today, as we're filming, this is what? 22nd? The 22nd? A little early. I yeah, think this early. weekend. I've seen... I've the, seen weekend, no, no, the weekend. weekend. Oh, the weekend. Yeah, weekend. Weekends, I've seen people yeah. in costume. Are you DJing some parties? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. um, I figured you would be out. No. What's the, what do you think is the best Halloween costume you've seen ever? The best Halloween costume I've seen. I've definitely seen like some like full blown Iron Man Transformers. Mm -hmm. I like saw the, Iron Man one that it was like, it, it was like, it looked like a $20,000 Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suit, like it was like. Why, why do grown folks take this holiday so seriously like more seriously than tax day because like you know people start planning their halloween costumes from i planned this from 2023 yeah i mean i think people have uh you know life is hard <laughs> you know preach anytime you can board. pretend to be something else it's kind of nice you get away from your regular everydayness of, of life preach. preach um uh do you think that uh I need my spray? Have have you been scary movie? Because women love the scary movies around this time. I'm big and black, so big and black and masks don't go together. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying do you watch scary movies? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I thought you meant like as a costume. No. No, I'm just keeping it a thousand. <laughs> no, I mean like I find scary movies actually funny. Like because I can see like the plot on like uh, the last movie I was actually scared in was the uh the exorcism of Emily Rose back in the what the mid-2000s. Yeah. You thought that was funny? I yeah. <laughs> See, What's I'm not, I don't come, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't mind a scary movie, but I'm not an exorcism guy. Okay. All the exorcism mm. ones. Yeah. I, miss me on the exorcism. Yeah. I, I I could do the murders. I could do the stabbings. The gore. The gore, the gore is gory, but it's like it's the exorcism. Mm. I'll be the guy that go and now he's possessed yeah. and now I'm <laughs> throwing up and I got to get a priest to give me a shower in the ocean. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to do these things. Especially if you just had a we uh, wedding the weekend before. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be parts of this. I keep it a thousand though but get out definitely did scare me it's get out was a I good mean. movie it was Any, scary though anytime i go out you know once you leave the new york city confines and new york city becomes new york state i'm mm. definitely yeah. watching my surroundings yeah teacups but, but that's, a, that's a funny thing because not all men men are expected that when it, in terms of scary men aren't expected to get scared or have emotions or you know opinions breathe yeah but some men can't take scary movies. That's crazy. That's a true thing. Yeah. Like yeah. they get scared. They're people. Yeah. And they're like all huddled up with their girl. What do you do if you a guy who gets scared of scary movies, but your girl like them? Because mm. that's a tricky situation. Because mm. she want to see a scary movie. You can't be all shriveled up crying under, on her lap. And what if she likes to play jokes? Like pranks? Like pranks. So like not only does she know that you're scared, then she just pops up in the dark, but her face painted in black is talking about like her booger, booger, booger. I'm not a fan of pranks. No, nah, and I, it's, I'm a comedian, but I don't like I don't like pranks. Please expound. I don't know. I just feel like what, what are we doing? We're pranking each other. What, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> you do this? Uh-uh. You prank your girl? Uh, no. 
I think now you see belt. you see a lot of you see a lot of cool um not cool but you see a lot of like uh couples on uh Instagram and TikTok that's yeah. what they do oh, like we we prank, we prank each other I think pranking's like corny humor uh, I'm yeah. like I'm not laughing in the videos they look it look fun it yeah. looked fun I was watching one where they just I think it was a husband and wife, and, and they just kept spilling paint on each other. Yeah, that's, yeah. and I'm like, that's ah, not funny. This would not. I mean, I'm a Virgo. I would be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and you have OCD. <laughs> you spilling paint in my living room? You know how much we just paid for that? Yeah, they wow. was like, it, they, he would like put it on the door, and then she'll walk in, and then it'll, and then the paint will fall on her. And one thing, she walked through the door. She like opened the door, and she like stopped because she knew there might be something there. And he was standing in the room and he did nothing. And then she walked in and he pulled out like a BB gun and shot a water balloon on top of the door and the water balloon popped and it was just paint that fell on her. I'm like, no. y'all don't got kids to raise? They, they, no, they definitely no, don't. No they soccer games, don't. no. Something? I like it though. I thought it was cool, but I ain't doing this. It's cool to watch. Yeah, I, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't doing but this. But that's not my bag. No, nah, definitely not. Especially like nothing like paint. Like that's like... For lack of a better uh, equivalency, but like that's like the white dudes when they like would either like play the gay jokes or just walk around in the locker room naked. Like I had a homeboy, what's his name? I'm not gonna say his name, but he would wear his helmet and do jumping jacks in the locker room, and it's just like fam, naked, naked, fam. Yeah. What do you? Thank you for giving me something to talk about on the podcast. But what are you doing? Like, what about this is funny? No, white men love gay gay humor. Gay yes, um, they 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 really they really mess with it. They do. That's their bag. Um, I, I'm not into these. I'm not into these. Uh, I support them honestly because I'm into it in the sense that like I like watching it. But I wouldn't want to be one of these uh, like uh, social media couples mm. that are pranking each other. Yeah, definitely not. Not not only pranking each other, just like oh, just the couples general. that have blown up. Just. Being in love. I feel like mm. they entertain me, but I'm like, damn, it's a lot of pressure on your relationship. It definitely is, right? Yeah. Especially like, do you film the fights? Do you film the, who's that texting you at four in the morning? Well, I think I think once you go down the social media path and you have like a following, everything nothing's is, real. Everything. Oh. Nothing's real. I was going to ask you guys about this, actually. Like, how do you feel about people like uh, putting their business out like online, like when they're like fighting and stuff? More specific example, like Cardi B and Offset. Like yeah, I think argue. That's crazy. yeah, I think that, that's a great, that's a great topic. I think it's crazy. But but being in the entertainment business, I kind of ask myself, is it crazy or is this marketing? Because they're not like two super, they're not like two stupid people. They know what they're doing. And it's like, why y'all get into a fight when y'all have something to promote? Mm. Why you always get divorced when you have something to promote? That's very mm. true. But then it makes me like a little think a little bit too mature because they got kids. And then you're going to have like, it's one thing if if y'all single and y'all doing that and y'all living your life for y'all, cool. Do you think he cheated, she cheated, blah, 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 football players, whatever, right? But now you got your kids involved and then like you got people talking about your, your personal business around and towards your kids. It's just like, yo, I understand y'all signed up for that, but they didn't sign up for that. And that like, that's the part where I'm just like, okay, like... Where do you draw the line? I get it that you're trying to promote or you're public figures, but like you do also like th th there's real lives involved too. That's where I'm like, I don't know, man. Like that's crazy. Like everything's up for promotion. I mean, with kids, you can kind of be like, you know, when they get old enough to complain and bring it up, you can just be like, you see this $25 million house that you grew up in. You grew up in that because we put our fights on TikTok. On TikTok. So, and you like Halloween, right? Yeah, at the end of the day, you got to understand, you like flying private, right? This comes from the fights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think once you give people that perspective, they'll be able to understand it. I hate, I, I'm, I mean, as a person who is in social media and constantly getting dragged, <laughs> On it, I, I I don't I don't like it. I don't feel like social media is is good. No, nah. sometimes it's always crazy because like I've said this before, the people who talk the most shit, you go to their page and you're like, I can't believe you talking. You talk, yeah, I, I can't believe you talking because it'd be like it never be like I'll never have some crazy like cool person like you go to their page and they're like popping talk, say anything, because they're busy being cool. Actually living life. Yeah. 
it's always like somebody's like, this guy's a fucking loser. And then loser. I go to his page and it's just a picture of them dressed like I'm dressed right yeah. now. Talk about, <laughs> Ma, did you make the meatloaf? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's crazy, with, bro. With 70 followers and they follow 7,000 people. <laughs> bro, and that's they talk crazy about how, how I'm a loser I am. Yeah. Something, it, it's so funny. Like, it, it, social media is so not real. Because this week, because of the things that was going viral, I was literally getting alerts of people calling me. And because and of the Mets clip, uh, the Mets loser clip. Shout out to the Mets. They lost, but you know, nothing, all right. nothing new. Shout out to the Liberty. I'm sorry. Shout out to the Liberty. Big championship. Burn it down, you heard? Yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to the ladies. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Um, the whole week is just people calling me a loser mm. as I'm promoting that I'll be on the Tonight, Tonight Show this show. week. So I'm like, <laughs> joke. some people I just sent them the post. I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Like, I don't want to debate you on this, but I don't think I- You got it. I'll classify myself as a loser. Yeah. Um, some people, I just want to be like straight up. I'm just like, I'm more successful in the thing that I do than you are in the thing that you do. Yo, that be the thing. How do you stay, I don't even know if humble is the right word, but how do you stay grounded in stuff like that? Like, do you always have to remind yourself like this person is eating McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, I'm eating McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, okay. and dinner. So okay. I'm no. seeing them there. Yeah. I think that I I just, I don't know. But I don't, you're doing it for content. I don't, I don't, I don't exist in a place of like, I never feel like I'm up. I always mm. feel like I'm trailing. Mm. I always mm. feel like I'm down. Occasionally, you know, occasionally you get so much hate that it makes you be like, wait a minute. Like, I got to say who I am. Yeah. But I generally, like, people be like, oh, what a loser. Look at his stupid ass mustache. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I, I agree. Thank I, you for I, supporting I, our I felt that way too before. <laughs> but then sometimes people get carried away and then you got to be like, hold on. Let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade here. Yeah. But then, like, you bring up a good point where it's like, do enough people realize that the internet is fake? Because that's what I've no learned. No one realizes. Nobody. No, no one realizes. I'm, I'm specifically those people who actually, like, do go and comment and, like, actually, like, leave comments. I realize that they really think that they must think that it's real. They Yeah, no one realizes it. Even, even this weekend, because I had one of the clips, um, the, the clip where, I, where, first of all, <laughs> I didn't understand. I'm like, because at first I was like, damn, this is going viral. But then I'm like, one, I was joking. And two, but I'm like, but what's wrong about... What I said, like, like I, I was given a crazy what if or a crazy would you they, rather. They left that out too. Yeah, it was a crazy would you rather. It was a hypothetical would you rather. And it was, would you rather have an illegitimate kid with a stranger or have them give you the STD herpes? That's what I that was brought up. That and was people's comments was like, condom, I'd rather use a condom or I'd rather not get neither. I'm like, that's not how the hypothetical works. Like, yeah, I'd rather that too. But that's not what we're doing. That's 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 context. Yeah, people, yeah. Right. You have to pick one. Context. Most people didn't pick one. And then the people that did pick one, they were like, I'd rather have a kid because I love my kid. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not talking about your no, kid. That's that's another thing, too. They personalized it. But then I saw the people who actually took it like how we were presenting. They were like, nah, I'm going with the herpes. I'm like, damn, people that's were crazy. saying that. Yeah. Oh, were they? Yeah. Because I'm crazy. like, at first I was like, damn, you know, but then I was like, What's the answer? Yeah. What's the real answer? This is a poll. People are afraid. They think that like if you say yes, that they're gonna be you're gonna be labeled as like having having yeah. it. It's also like it's a clip from if you listen to like that six minute segment from that episode. I'm like, we talk about the complexities of the argument the whole time. That's like, the we broke it down. Because my brother sent it to me, and he was like, "Damn, man, you got herpes." <laughs> and I was like, "Listen, man, I, I, I was taken out of context." I'm not saying yes. I, I was saying. trying to be. I was. I was taken out of context. We had like a six minute conversation <laughs> about it. What, didn't you flip? Didn't I flip? I know, yeah, I did. Like I, at one point, yeah. I was agreeing with you. Right. Yeah, I'm like, hear me out. If so, at Thanksgiving, I'm gonna have to bring this up at a table, not even and that. then convince all everyone to agree on all, herpes. So they won't all think, the reason more to maybe not have the stash by Thanksgiving. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Well, like, I they, might, they I might do the, the no shave cup, and then everybody gets glass. <laughs> yeah, crazy. everybody that's giving crazy. me the, the plastic right. red cups. And they toasting champagne because <laughs> they think I haven't, I'm having to break out. That's crazy. That's I don't wild. have herpes. I, That's I, wild, I, bro. I, I've never had it. I've been, I've been lucky, <laughs> you know, as of also people was like, he's lying. He got it. And I'm like, isn't it illegal to lie about it? Even if so, what's the best case scenario, internet? How do you prove that? And then no, they, if worst case scenario, if you did have it, wouldn't they be doxing? Isn't that doxing if they just put in all, all your business like that? I mean, Gross. yeah, I, I feel like if I did have it, I would be one of those people that's just open about it. Like I, like many people that I know. On a commercial? Yeah. 
Like you give it like real, I'm sorry, but you give it real like Herbish commercial vibes right now. <laughs> you know how they look, like Valtrex is something like that, and they're smiling like we like. <laughs> I'm tripping. What about me is giving Valtrax? <laughs> the, the, the cowboy outfit. No, cowboys don't have herpes. Brokeback Mountain? Why are you both looking at me? Brokeback Mountain? Why are you bringing that up? I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't trying to be Brokeback Mountain. Uh, I was being a regular cowboy. <laughs> Shit always gets spun. It gets spun. By man. the way, I do this for the adulterous. When this shit come up, y'all better defend me. Yo. Because my career is flailing because of y'all. <laughs> That's number one. Number two, like, I still love the feedback that we get from our adulterers where they say, like, they can't listen to this in public. Or, like, I want like I want y'all to listen to these last 10 minutes and spit your water out. Like, that's what I'm going for. Shout out to the adulterers out there. Like a rhinestone <laughs> cowboy. <laughs> Howdy, adulterers. I'm not doing that. Shout out to all the adulterers. If you want to come see me live, let's make this quick. Come see me this weekend. I'm at the Comedy Zone in Greenville, South Carolina on the 1st and the 2nd. Next weekend, Houston Punchline, the 7th through the 9th. Come check me out there. I got Lancaster, Pennsylvania on the 14th. I got Massachusetts the 22nd to the 23rd. And I got Arizona the 29th to the 1st. Also, tickets are still on sale for my comedy special December 21st. Taping at LPR. Make sure you get those. All of this is up at ianlarelive.com. Check me out. Thank you. Back to the show. Welcome to volume 81 of the Adult Hub Podcast. Coming at you live Sunday, October 27th. Don't forget the line 347-378-9423. This is our Halloween episode. This is a happy day for me, man. This is the third three-year anniversary to my mom's passion, October 27th. Oh, man. Yeah. Rest in peace, It's a heavy brother. day, so rest That's in peace heavy. to my mama. Rest in peace. Um, Are you doing anything special to commemorate, or do you just kind of take a moment of reflection? Yeah, I think the family, I think we're going to mass, and we're getting together. Uh, right. We're getting together at the house, um, yeah. and, you know, just kind of doing the family thing. Nice. Um, also, Halloween uh, this week, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of Halloween parties this weekend. Be safe out um, there. I got the, uh, by the time this airs, I would have already done the Tonight Show. I'll be there. Um, I, hope, I hope that goes well. Dressed like this. Um, I'm doing it with- um, Who's the performer? The guest, the other guest. I'm the performer. The other guest is uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. I like it. Shut like a up. Boy, yeah, he hasn't done it in two. It's like a big deal. They say he hasn't done it in like seven years. Seven wow. Years. Wow. Yeah. But I don't That's know what cool. Sasha Baron Cohen you get because he has, sometimes he'll come funny and be Borat and then at other times he wants to come and talk about the Gaza. Artiste. And I'm like, I, I don't. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Yeah, bro. I don't want to bring, you know, I want the audience to be, you know. I like a yo. I don't want to bring up <laughs> human yo, tragedies. Movie. Yeah. Before I come up there and I'm like, you know, New York apartments are small. Right. How about the Mets? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Man. idea that you what you want to do is you want to have a comedian on the couch because the comedian on the couch kills and then by the time you the, the audience is in like laughing mode you don't want it to be a serious episode and then you got to come be funny yeah, yeah wow who's yeah. a musical performer it's uh, no music no music it's either music or comedy oh okay okay because yeah. i thought you was on with bad bunny one time bad bunny yeah no i was never on with bad bunny well, they filmed two that thursday right i was on with little baby oh okay 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 before Whoa. but they yeah but they he he wasn't on my episode okay he was there together yeah. but but they filmed him for another episode okay 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 yeah. that's where I go. did you that's see him backstage oh yeah he was he was right his dressing room was right next to me that episode was weird that wow that episode was the rock camilla cabello and Lil Baby. Mm. And it was dressing room. It was me, The Rock, Camila Cabello, Lil Baby. That's and Lil my Baby Mount just, Rushmore. Right? Yeah. yeah that, that is my go. Mount Rushmore. They met at dinner party. Yeah. <laughs> and Lil Baby Dream was just walking rotation. up and down the hallway. <laughs> the Rock That's was walking show. through with a tank top. It was uh, it was nice. You said he's just regular sized, right? By regular size, I mean like 6'2". Right. But you, you imagine him to be like 6'9", right? 100%. 6'7", yeah. I bet Sasha Baron Cohen, he gives pretty tall. He's like 6'3", I think yeah. he's 4", yeah. Speaking about The Rock, did you ever get in trouble for like doing wrestling in school or like on your family members? I remember when I was a kid, I got in trouble because I used to do such. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I don't know yeah. why I just got so excited. I watched that. I watched that Vince McMahon documentary. Have you seen it? Is yes. it on Netflix? Yes. All um, three parts. Yeah, it's six, six parts. It's six. I thought it was three. Yeah, no, it's like okay. six episodes. I got three more to catch up on. It. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah, Wrestling it was crazy. How much? How much dominance it had? On, it still yeah. has on people. He was like a man that was all about the business. No, like hit one of, in the in the documentary. I don't want to give anything away, but in the documentary, they talk about one storyline he tried to present was he wanted to pretend that he impregnated his daughter. His daughter. Oh my god. Why? That's insane. Like as just like a wrestling storyline. I mean, there was. 
They're all fake story. They're all fake storylines. But he, the, yo, he was also, and I watched. I think I watched. That's why I watched episode one and two, and then I jumped to go to like when they started talking about like the '90s and the Rock and Stone Cold. But like he would build these storylines for him to be like a cheater, to be kissing other women, and it's just like. And Yo, then he would he, use that to cheat and to kiss cheat other women. And kiss other women. <laughs> Pretty it's, genius. It's genius. But it got me. That's why I've been more like, listen, like the adult, the people who listen to the podcast, they know what we're about. So I'm like, sometimes to gain any traction, you got to be controversial. You just have to be. And I'm not even being controversial. I'm just saying I prefer herpes over a kid. <laughs> Some people ain't meant to be parents. Yeah. <laughs> that's not even controversial. I've seen that on the subway all the time. Wrestling is like the American entertainment at its finest, which is like it's all about storytelling and the spin. And what's, it's all about what's going to get people in seat, even if it's hatred and wanting to see somebody. Hatred, you know. hatred weighs more than love. love. And what's crazy is yeah, on that, the algorithm for sure. What's crazy is uh, that like the way that they describe wrestling is like basically it's a, a soap opera, but for with testosterone. And like when you zoom out, you really think about it, it's like, yo, that's exactly what it is. You got a bunch of men in tights. Shout out to the lady wrestlers too, but like wearing all kind of crazy costumes, like red socks and and, and blue satin. And pretending to be something that they're not because you meet these wrestlers outside and they're like regular people, regular squares talking about like, I need, you know, two sugars in my uh, espresso on 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 Tuesday morning. Yeah. You saw that the the uh, Undertaker and Kane, they endorsed uh, Donald Trump, the DT? president. And I'm like, you know, both what, what we want, but I'm like, if, if you, if the, if the Undertaker is the person that you're like, that, that, to. that tips you over the scale. <laughs> like, yeah, for politics, right? Jeez, uh, yeah. But that goes back to what we were talking about, about, uh, you know, Cardi being offset. Like, it's also like, man, like, why are we forced to care? Like, why is this everywhere? Why is this a story? Why do I even have to like be present on this? Of course, you, you know, I could turn my phone off or I don't have to look, but it's like also the people you followed and they're reposting and they're sharing the stories. It's just like, I don't care about this. Yeah. I don't care if The Undertaker, you know, is voting for, I really don't care if The Undertaker is voting really for It's really like, have you guys seen the Black Mirror episode? It's in like the first or second season. Black Mirror is such a good show for so many reasons, but they have this one episode that's like about a dystopia where people's value is directly equated to how like what their social rating is so people can like upvote and downvote you. Mm -hmm. And if your rating's like an 8.6 as mm -hmm. like a person with your influence or how you look or whatever, mm -hmm. you're more it, it, you're more likely to get into restaurants or schools or get jobs. And I'm like, we're we're there. Yeah, like yeah, the fact that even, people yeah. even care there. that Cardi B and Offset have broken up because he cheated for the 80,000th time, like for the 80,000th time is because she has, I'm assuming 1.6 million, you know, however many followers. followers. Like mm -hmm. one time, one time I was in Aruba. Uh, this was like a little bit after the pandemic, like 2021. 20, I was in Aruba and I went to this restaurant, this pizza restaurant. And uh, I was just having dinner or whatever. And we started talking to the waiters, me and another comedian. We started talking to the waiter because it wasn't people at the restaurant. And I told the waiter, like, you know, we were just here for doing, we're doing comedy shows with the comedians or whatever. And he's like, oh, let me see your Instagram or whatever. So I showed him my Instagram. At the time I had like, uh, you know, like 150,000 followers, something like that. And uh, he's like, oh yeah, you know, you're popular or whatever. And then when the bill came, he was like, hey, if you give the restaurant like a shout out on your page, we won't like, you'll get the bill for free. Like we won't even charge you for like the bill, which is like, yeah, that's worth, I mean, it's, it's worth more than money. <laughs> like, it's yeah. literally, I, um, I'm doing a big event Crazy. at like a club on Halloween and I'm negotiating a bunch of her like alcohol and cannabis sponsors and like. It's just so funny. It's like like a liquor brand will be like they don't even care about like a line in the press or anything. All they want is a photo of like a very specific celebrity with right. their mezcal cocktail, yeah. and like that's everything. Yeah. it's like a whole new world of advertising. Every celebrity has an alcohol brand. Yeah, yeah. I went, but I'll tell you this though: if you go to the, if you get an opportunity to go to those alcohol sponsored parties, it is a. It is fun. I, I I went to a Tito's party in Montreal. Wow, uh, Tito's wow. vodka party. Was that for the um, comedy? It, it was fire. Yeah, it was it was so much fun. That's, that sounds, that sounds awesome. awesome. It was so good. That sounds. Fun. Everything was Tito's. It was like they sponsored the whole thing completely free. It was like a thousand people. Everybody. Uh, if you were to go to a celebrity alcohol party, 
what would be your top pick? me, not Diddy. <laughs> well, okay, Ciroc is off the table. Let the record show that. That's a can we ball. clip that? That's a yeah. Carmen? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get on it. Can okay. we, that's can we good. clip that? Me that's saying that I won't go to a Diddy party? That's a good call. We have a that's lot gonna get of no, evidence. That's going to get no likes, no that's shares. A, that's a good call. That's a good call. Um, George Clooney. Yeah. He sold, though. He don't own Casamigos no more. Oh, he cashed out? Yeah. Now, I would like to go to Kylie's. What's her thing? 619? No, she's... 619 is Ray Mysterio. Oh, that's Ray Mysterio. Is Ray Mysterio. 818 is Kendall. I think Kylie's is like Sprinter or something like she that. She has one too? I want to go to Matthew no, McConaughey. No, Kylie has 819. That's Eight, a Kendall's 818. 818. Oh, wait, that's Kendall? 818? Yes. Yeah. No, nah, I don't want to go to Kendall's. Nah. I'd rather go to Kylie's. What yeah. she got? She's got, I think Chris is like Sprinter or something. She's got one too. Mm. Chris Jetter obviously started like, it's called like Calabasas Spirit Company or something. No, nah, I don't like that. No. Nah. Maybe Kevin Hart? Uh, what's his, Ka what's Kaiser Mizzou or something like that? No, well, Kaiser Mizzou. No, nah, Kaiser Mizzou or something? <laughs> no, his is uh, Coco Mel. Um, <laughs> we got the internet. Chris Delino? No, he I'm got the, <laughs> he goes into the whole speech about it. This what is, is going to be the clip. I'm Kevin Hart. Like Kevin Hart spawned. Yeah, yes. Kevin Hart's uh, tequila. He got a tequila coming. Can we get a Grand Coromino. Grand Coromino. It sounds like everything else. Yeah, it's good. It's Grand good. Though. I've had that one. It's super good. smooth. Ultra yeah. distilled. It's it's smooth. I know the commercial. We're trying to get a plug. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to do McConaughey's. What? Whiskey? There's no pantalones or whatever. Him uh, and his wife are like naked. No pantalones. Look, I don't think any celebrity is doing any parties for with the near no, future with no pantalones. <laughs> That's a good call. Celebrity parties <laughs> are over. Can we clip this? See, they don't clip the No, the they don't clip me saying, you know, gay people should vote uh -huh. and get married uh -huh. and, uh, and women deserve the right to choose yep. and eat cereal. Yep. None of these go viral. <laughs> Keep your pants on at celebrity parties. Yeah, none of these none. go viral. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get spooky. Woo. What, what's the uh, what's the most uh, scared you've ever been? At like a Halloween party at or anything. ever? It it can be dead ass or it can be like genuinely spooked by uh, something. Okay, dead ass is when I was robbed at gunpoint. I was definitely <laughs> generally scared about that. Um, from Halloween, I think a couple of like uh, fright fest. I was just like, if that person comes Six out, flags? yeah. When I was younger, if you come out with the uh, that's the most scared you've been. Yeah. <laughs> If you come out with the, uh, what is it, the chainsaw? I don't like chainsaws and nothing like that. So it's like it's on site. But other than that, nah. Yeah, I never. I, I've been to Fright Fest a couple of times. I never thought I, they never scare me. Stuff like that doesn't scare me. <clears throat> I don't generally get scared unless it's like real, like demonic exorcism. Shit. Mm, so you really don't mess with that. I I don't. Yeah. I try not to. I try to stay away from that. There was this one time. Oh. There, there was this one time I was watching this movie with my uncle and my cousin, and uh, hey yo, <laughs> sorry. I was watching a movie with my uncle and my cousin, <laughs> and a uh, scary movie, and. Uh, he, my uncle what got up. What y'all doing? We were watching a scary movie. So my uncle, he gets up and he goes to the restroom and, or not the restroom, he goes to the kitchen. And hey. this this movie was like, it, it was- What were you getting tight, in the kitchen? I forgot what he was getting in. I don't remember. Is but <laughs> Whoa. No, so he, uh, he I forgot what he was getting in, but the movie, it's called Skin of Marine. All right, let me stop It's making, called what? Let me stop making the story gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. That's like what's the opposite. That's what black guys do. Your version. Okay, it's called the skimmery. Skinnery. White guys, white guys make it, they joke about everything being gay, and black guys, they make everything. They yeah. put gay oh, on yeah. you. <laughs> they yeah. put everything gay That's on you. That's true. Um, Check what's it, it called? Skinnery. Skinnery? Skinnery. What is it about? So basically, it's like a it's like a still shot movie. There's not like the camera doesn't move around type thing. It like it'll like zoom in. And then it'll like cut to a different like camera, but you never see like any of the actors, like their faces or anything. Wow. Like you just see like, for example, they'll film like the dad in the room and they'll just film like his shoes or something talking to his daughter. And like, you know, and then it'll like cut to a different scene. It's a really weird movie. Yeah, you're crazy. Is but it scary though? It was, it's, it's probably like the scariest movie I've seen in a while. They don't really make good scary movies anymore, but that's another they, they got they got this that new one that came out last weekend. It's a slasher film, but it, it, I forgot the name of it. But it's an indie Went film. Oh. No, it's an indie film. They they, oh, I think it, I it costs like three million dollars to make, and they've made like sixty million dollars. It, it took over the Joker. 
Really? Yeah. It's as the, an indie slasher film. What's the one that uh, that came out? The Blair Witch Project or something? What's the, what's the one that was kind of like that from back Par- in the day? Blair Witch Project. That was the first Paranormal one. The one in Paranormal Activity. But was like the, the one, one that they shot for cheap and then that they was ended Blair Witch Project. That was the Blair Witch yeah. Project, right? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, the, the, the Blair Witch Project, I believe that one was shot by college kids. Okay. On like a regular camera. Oh, and that went on to make millions Million. of dollars. Yeah. But and then and then Hollywood bought it. And it got whack. Oh yeah! Like when they put money into it, the second one was whack. Mm, mm, Let me—I'll uh, right. tell you the name of it right now. Okay. Because my uh, my what homie's in it. Did your oh, die? no, no, Wait, no, God, no, no. So, so he was he was in the he went to the uh, kitchen and he was saying something, and so this movie's like a huge fucking buildup, much like this story. But the movie was was like you know building hell attention. My uncle goes to the kitchen and he, he says, "Love you, I love you to us." And then literally like a second later, the movie, the the child, she goes, I love you too. I, that's no. creepy. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty creepy. That's pretty and, creepy. and bro, we lost our fucking minds. So I get what you're saying, like with the whole like exorcism thing, because yeah. that movie kind of gives that vibe. Oh, and yeah. sometimes it like kind of fucks with you where you're like, seems like you're kind of inviting that yeah. like yeah. shit to happen. The, the name of the movie is Terrifier 3. Okay, okay. Terrifier oh, yeah, 3. Yeah, yeah. Terrifier 3. Yeah. The clown one, right? If Have I you guys seen The yeah. Ring? Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's that was I had a similar story in sixth grade. Anna Lucas's basement shout out. We're all watching it like in the film. The girl's nose bleeds. And then one of the girls in our basement, like her nose started bleeding at the same time. I called my mom immediately. Yeah, I was like, I'm not doing this. I haven't seen a scary movie since. Well, well, stay, stay no, nope, I'm good. Yeah. Um, speaking about the sixth grade and a lot of build up. Remember like when you were like, mm. you know, going to ditch parties or you hooking up with your sixth grade girlfriend and then it was just a lot of dry humping. Yeah. That's a lot of build up. And then you just basically carpet burn your, you know, that's not cool. That's like herpes or Jace. Talk about fear fast. Yeah. I think, I think the scariest thing, uh, I, I, I remember when I was like 13 once there was it was along the lines of like one of those movies like the the Blair Witch it was like an indie film but it was done in the Dominican Republic I forgot the name of I think it was called Cassandra or Alexandra or something but my cousin at the time he had this fancy house with like a like a movie theater so he got the whole family together I was like 12 and we all were like gonna watch this movie it's in Spanish and it's about like an exorcism about like a haunting but what was really scary about it that it was like it wasn't like an American haunting it was like Dominican Dominican. haunting. So all my aunts and stuff, like they knew, like the story was voodoo accurate, if that makes sense. Like the stuff that they were like, they did the research. They like, did yeah, the like, research. Like, 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 so, like so, stuff would happen in the movie. Like, I remember early on, stuff would happen in the movie, and my aunt would be like, oh, no. He's, <laughs> she's like, no, nah, the, the leaves are facing south. You know what that means. <laughs> and then it would be, it would turn out to me. So, like, three things happened where, like, my aunts and my mom was like, oh, no. Nah. They went to see the, the seance, and, you know, they didn't, they left the door open, and they didn't leave a door, a broom by the door. So now... <laughs> So I, that was mad scary because like, they knew the rule. And then I was like, and I think, you know, half of my family is witches. Mm, mm. So that that was wow. scary. Powerful. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I would have been scared too. I would say the last time I was genuinely like, well, scariest moment of my life, I think. Oh, talk about like being outside the city and it being creepy. Like in Ohio, where I grew up in Cincinnati, we lived in like a suburb that it wasn't in the middle of nowhere, but it certainly wasn't in a city. And I was in high school and I was driving home late from doing like God knows what. And we had a pond across from my house and there's like a single old man sitting at the pond. And I like, I'm driving home and I'm like, what the hell? He does not look like my neighbor, like whatever. I like turn to look at my driveway and I look back and he's walking into the water. And I was like, I'm not dealing with this. No. I just ran to my house. Okay, and you, didn't, you didn't turn around and go save him or anything like that. Chris. No, okay. I was like, I was like 16. Okay. Like, no, but no idea what happened to him, what the deal was. Cause Marty would definitely try to swim after that. <laughs> do, do you ever, do you think that uh like, you ever dated a girl who gets really scared? That's a good question. Uh, at movies or like just in general? Um, I guess in general, but I really mean like at jumpy? movies. Uh, no, I, 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 I remember so. when I was in college, I went on a date with a girl and we were watching, it wasn't even that scary of a movie. It was like one of those mid-level scary movies. And when I tell you this girl was scared, like it was just like, ah! every time. And I'm like, <laughs> this. I'm like, you didn't see that coming? <laughs> <laughs> like it literally the the music led you to it like you didn't <laughs> hear the, the thing you didn't the, hear the, the like leading up to the big thing yeah 
I think it's why God be worse. You on a date with a guy, he can't, he he get too scared. That's terrible too. But then like the thing is, you know, uh, coming from a minority background and I hate to be cliche, but you know, you watch scary movies with certain people and it's just like, don't go in there, girl, girl. <laughs> Did you, know, you didn't know the killer was around the corner? You didn't see he didn't lock the door. So it's just like, that's why I just naturally look at scary movies like funny because I'm thinking mm -hmm. about that narrative. Well, that some people, sense. some people like make that argument. They're like, oh, why do people in scary movie just do like the make the dumbest choices ever? And I'm like, yeah, because it's a movie. It's real life. Oh, but people make dumb decisions in real life. No, but I mean, like, they're like, oh, why don't you just, I mean, there's a commercial, like, why don't you, there's, have you, I forgot what it's for. They, he's like, why don't we just get into the run, into the moving car, like the running car? Mm -hmm. And he's like, nah, let's go hide behind a chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a commercial. It's a funny commercial, but I'm like, yeah, if they got in the running car and left, the movie'd be over. It'd be over. <laughs> and you'd be tight. You have to yes and bad choices. It's, yeah. it's a scary movie. You That's gotta make poor choices. Yeah. That's a yes, yes and, and bad, bad choices. choices. That's a girly yes That might be a, a, That might be my favorite. It's a t-shirt right there. We what? Got, yes and bad man. choices. Yeah. Yes and, yes bad, and choices. bad choices. Don't steal this adulterous. Or at least yeah. give us credit, because that would be hilarious. Yeah. Um, girls always like this, but girls be like, let's watch a scary movie and put on Hocus Pocus. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. The classic Disney movie. Yeah. And yeah. they, they like, ooh, spooky. And they're like, what? This was on Disney. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Disney film. Shout out. I wonder what is rated like the scariest movie of all time. Probably mm. NC-17, right? Like they that? can't, NC-17 is above R, so you No, no, I mean, what is the scariest oh, oh, oh. all the time? Like, it what's depends what's, what's, what's like ranked as- I like think there's gotta be some like international stuff that's like not- yeah. Oh, there's, not there's a, a new one. There's a new one that's international that people were telling me, they're like, yo, this is it's scary. Crazy. They're is like, it crazy? Is because their rules are different? Yeah, yeah, they were like, not only is it scary, <clears throat> sorry, not only is it scary, it's just fucked up. Damn. They're like, it's fucked. I don't ever want, like, that's not the type of media I'm trying to consume. I'm like, real life is like scary, scary enough. enough. Yeah, I don't need to know that humans yeah. are even- I really liked way. the uh, Hostel movies when they were coming out the when Hostel? I was a kid. Hostel was good. Yeah, those Remember were Remember really when good. Saw was a thing? Like, yeah. that was- well, Those thing, coming out at the same like, kind of time. Yeah. Like the first three Saws were like, oh, this is Classics. crazy. It was twisted. It was like, you know, thriller enough. Like, it was like a real thriller and horror movie at the same time. Yeah. But then yeah. they kind of like- It got silly. They were just trying off. to make money. Yeah. Yeah. Hostel was realistic. Because that was like you're traveling abroad yeah, and you end yeah. up in the thing. Yeah. And that seemed like, I mean, that just seemed like what we all believed happened anyway. Yeah. You know, so it, it, it was realistic. And the plot was like good, like, you know, rich people like paying to see how you get murdered. Yeah. You know? I mean, do you think like, do you think this is true? Like you think I there's think a world for this? That's a great yeah. question. I mean, you, you get to a certain level with money, you start but finding with, ways to be entertained. With the internet though? Like, do you feel like it's taking The black off? market is a... It's still That's a thing. True. I think there are thoughts. I think there's a lot of themes in modern media of rich people paying for other people to either be tortured or yeah. like her, like that's a big theme explored in Zoe Kravitz's new movie, Blink Twice. That is a Channing Tatum movie, but like they're essentially paying to go on a trip to watch. Like I'm not going to spoil it, but like some some messed up stuff. Some messed up stuff happened. It's like human chess. Like mm -hmm. we act like these are new themes. I'm like we've been torturing people for pleasure yeah. and society. Well, you know me. I now. mean, as an aspiring mm -hmm. person to be rich and in Hollywood and the Illuminati, aspiring I think rich people rank. get a bad rap. rap. I think we try to make pretend that <laughs> they're not like. Sure, there's bad rich people, of course. Totally, there's bad but, people, but they're, they're just people. Like, there's no. It's, it's not like you. It's not like you become. You get into a a certain tax bracket, and you're just like, oh, I would. I wonder what it would be like to watch a person get decapitated. You're like, saying those people would have been bad regardless if they right. Were I'm, I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. I'm saying those people exist. Yes, but it's not this general thing of like most rich people are just most rich people. First of all, were poor, who just got money, and now they're like rich, and it's like. Sure, that happens to some people. I just don't think that people generally and get money and want to see like the worst things. But to support yeah. your argument, it's like those are the people who are probably on the dark web or on YouTube actually searching for those videos. So like if you're you're not rich, but you're searching for those videos, you already got a taste for like that, yeah, that off the world stuff. Yeah. So like it, yeah, it's like it's a progression. I believe yeah. I believe rich people. I, I I think they're more prone to go down like sexual deviance, yeah, than yeah. they are of like. And but where does Human. that come from too? That happens like, in the Middle East a lot. Boots. Like, why do you think you get some money? You can just start going like living out all your fantasies. I've heard this from celebrities before. It's just you get to a certain point where it becomes so easy and widespread that you just can't get excited for it no more. 
What? The widespread was kind of crazy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they, they say you just can't get excited for uh, the the same way you used to. I mean, and it makes sense. If you're having, if you're hooking up with five to 10 women a night, how many, how many nights got to go by before you're like, you know what? I need to see somebody get their hand chopped off to get yeah. an erection. <laughs> Probably like what? Seven <laughs> nights after that? Yeah. It's, That's crazy. Yeah. No, nah, I'm cool. Like, so then do you want to, I, my whole, I guess, goal in life has to been like to see that and then like make a U-turn, like, okay, like that's that's where it is. And then I'm gonna be like maybe two notches below. Like I don't need to be super wealthy to the point where like that's how I get my rocks off. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what? can I ask you both then if you guys did say you got to a place where you were super rich, to a place where you could like really fuck around with like some funny money, what would be a vice, not anything that crazy, but like what would be an honest vice that you guys are like, I would spend a lot of money to do that or see that or smoke mm. that or whatever it is i don't think I, I honestly don't believe i i have those things yet i'm so poor i don't even have i don't even know what those things are true <laughs> I, I, I feel like i i don't have enough money to know what i want wow I, that's I, a great point i think mine is like lower level like to the people who are at that level where it's just like that doesn't even mean anything but like i would love a private jet and that's just mm. because i'm tall yeah. and i really hate That'd tsa cool. And like, I feel like they're trained, at least in the New York airports, they're trained not to be like welcoming or friendly at all. And yeah. it's just like, it's six o'clock in the morning, I'm running late and like, this is the last thing I need. I do have TSA pre-check and global entry. So if you bet, you know what I'm saying? But I know private, I know some private jet people that they're like, of course it's great because of that convenience that yeah. you just named, but they're yeah. like, but also sometimes you're flying and you're in this like tiny plane mm. that you're like, yeah, this could easily crash. <laughs> like I, it, it doesn't mm. feel like as safe as like maybe like a big airline, airline. or yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, well, that's true. When it reached that level, so I can find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely, I definitely. I would learn from experience. True. Women be on private jets yeah, way more. A lot. That's, yeah, that's, that's like that yeah. comes with the life. It, yeah, yeah. That's one of the perks. That's yeah. common. And it, it's it's interesting to to know what the uh, I guess the barrier of entry to be on a private jet as a woman is. What do you mean? Like, all you got to have is just some crazy curves. And then it's just like, hey, do you want to get on my private jet? Yeah, I mean, we're not saying, I don't think we're going against the grain here by saying that, you know, rich men generally like pretty women on their rich, fancy stuff. And pretty women like rich, nice stuff. So I'd so, probably gamble a lot. A You're a gambler? Man. You're a gambler? No, I'm not. Like... I purposefully deleted all the like betting apps this year. When so, football you are started. so you are again. Well, I have been the pre like previously. Like I would bet on sports, but like you know, it's just not it's not healthy. So I was like, this year I'm like I deleted them. I haven't placed a bet all season for for that football. Would be your vice. When yeah. the rich people gamble yeah. a lot, I'm like, damn, this is a real problem. Yeah. Because poor people is like, oh, you trying to pay rent, which yeah. that's a problem too. But, but rich people is like, damn, you you just need to feel something. Yeah. yeah. Some yep. kind of rush. Yeah. What, you need to what's feel yours? Something. My vice. Yeah. Your rich vice. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> rich vice. <laughs> rich vice. Yeah. It's a company name. Oh um, yeah. God, I don't know. I kind of like Ian's point that I'm like, I don't even know what I. Where, don't know where, where, where it can go would want yeah. yeah my stupid thing is i'm like i would get a massage every single day like i know that's like not even close to real money rich but i'm like i know for a fact if i have money i start every single morning getting a massage yeah that brings up a good point because i think about this where they say uh i don't know uh on netflix they had the the series starting five and they follow lebron tatum right um you know the big name nba players and like they said that lebron there's a rumor that lebron spends 1.5 million on his body a year right and i'm just like I honestly it. it's his money maker right but honestly like I would want bread just for that because I need to stretch. I feel like a lot of people get into like fights and stuff because they're like real tight. They didn't stretch their hamstrings or do no yoga or something. So like I, I feel like to be in a better mood, I definitely pay a million dollars for a massage every day. You know, right. I, I talk about massages. This is getting no listeners. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta. I, this is why I always gotta be the crazy one. I would pay money. To hunt somebody like they're an animal. <laughs> this is why you get clipped but up, not, but not kill them. Like just maybe like tassel them. Maybe like uh, what's the show? Maybe like paintball. There's what? a movie, right? Yeah. There's a movie. I think the world's most dangerous game. That's yeah. a book. Um, where but based off the Asian one, right? The one from Korea, the one that was on Netflix. I don't know. I don't. I didn't. I didn't see that one. You know, with the with the outfits everybody wore it as a costume oh, like two three years Squid ago. Game? 
Yeah, squid, squid game, like squid game. game? Yeah, that's what you're trying to do. No, I want to hunt somebody like they're a boar. Like I, I <laughs> put them in the forest. I put them in my forest. They start running around. Is I this give one on one or you have a team? It's just me. I'm gonna give them a heads up though. They get a heads up. <laughs> like they go. I show up. Cowboy hat, <laughs> mustache, shotgun. Can you show but, us your aim? But it's paintball. I don't want to kill nobody. That's but you want to shoot somebody. Yeah. See, just not kill. You said you were rich enough to know. That's pretty pretty bad. deep and it's yeah. detailed. Well, yeah. we're that's trying that's to be entertained. You guys are talking about getting massages. I'm I got to I got to I got to really push the envelope here. There you go. Um also, you know what I would do? A cool rich thing that I would do? I would host a lot of murder mystery parties. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I love I never been in one, but that just seems so cool. Invite five couples to your house and you get somebody, everybody has a role, everybody's playing a character and you get them to figure out who committed the murder. But I might put like big money on it. Mm. Yeah. Like mm. if you figure out, if you figure out who committed the murder, you get a big check. But if you wrong, you'll never be invited again. Oh, wow. put some stakes, stakes on it. Stakes, high stakes. High stakes. Yeah. yeah. That might be the name of the show. Cool, rich things, high stakes. That would be, that would be a be fire. That would be, I feel like a rich thing that I would do often. I yeah. would have a lot of a murder mystery party. Yeah. That's super fire. And that's the thing is you could pick really good couples. Like there's nothing worse at like a murder mystery party than when people half ass it. You been like, at one? Oh yeah. I really? Did too. Birthday really? parties. Really? How was so, it? So one of them was super fun because everybody was like and checked their being cool at the door and was like, mm -hmm. I am Reginald so and so and like I have a fucking story to tell. The other one I was with like some girls who were like afraid to lean in into it. I'm like, if you're invited, like take on a character, go and get your gossip, like do the whole thing. Like mm -hmm. that's what makes it actually a good time. Mm -hmm. Is people yeah. like really lean into the plot. Oh no, nah, see, I want to go all out. Go I'm, all I'm out. talking about I'm talking about like dressing you, up. You you get it now, even before that. I'm talking about you get an invitation and you get an invitation like three months out and yes. from like three months out i'm feeding you the character yeah like so you get an invitation this is who your character once you accept from like three months out you start getting mail to your house under that character's name that's telling you stuff that's going to come into play on on the in the in the in the show You're in the, the in, in the night and then you you show once you show up if you 3 months of grooming once you show up you know who this character is mm. right so for example like I'll start sending like fake IRS letters to that character <laughs> like you owe money for the IRS <laughs> Um, so this is like a, a secret. When you show up, you know that, you know, Reginald Cumberbatch owes money to the IRS. And that's it, like you you feel like you've been with this character for a while. It's hard to like not get into it when you feel like it's been a while. And I'll make like, and I'm talking about if I was rich, I'll, I'll send you videos. Like it'll be like videos of, I love that. of stuff with the character. So when you show up, it's real. It's real. That's yeah. like a crazy, yeah. is it crazy that that's not a game show that exists on network television is like a filmed murder mystery party in a house. Well, this is my idea that you're gonna, somebody's Just, gonna listen to it and pitch it to Netflix. Damn. It next could week, be you. The next thing I know is gonna be murder mystery hosted by Jimmy Fallon where With he invites- <laughs> And he's dressed up as a cowboy. Right, Talk he, to him about it on Thursday. He, he invites a bunch of celebrities to his house and they gotta figure out who the murderer was. Yeah. This is a good idea. Though. It could yeah. be you. A good idea. You, you could stay away, bro. You could plant paid actors like in their real life too and like, like give them clues like that. That's good. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I would I have to do that. Like I will say, I would send actors, like before the party starts, yeah. I'll send actors to your house. Damn, a hundred. Just so, follow them in the grocery store. And yeah, that's, that's the thing. Crazy but shit. the thing is a hundred K or you can never be invited again. That's the thing, that's the stakes. Yeah. Maybe not maybe not being invited again. Cause I feel like if you're good at it, I want you to come back. Yeah. But maybe, I don't know, maybe. I don't know what the, the stakes is like. You you could make a lot of money, but I don't know what the other stakes you would have, be. Because you have to lose something. You want loss, right? I want there to be something yeah. where you can lose. But I like I would send you, for example, if if your character has a stalker, like I would two months out, I'll send a stalker to your house. Oh yeah. <laughs> So it'll, it'll be like a thing where it's like you you really, in, it's not like a half-assed murder mystery. Like if you go into this world. You're questioning you're, your own reality. You're in this world. Yeah, you're in yeah. this world. Like like if you agree to be this character, I'll tell you the rundown. I'm like, this character owes this person money. This character has a stalker. This character sing. So it's like, if you send me back a yes in two weeks, you're going to see somebody in your bushes looking into your <laughs> thing. I think I, I found the, 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 what you could, if you lose, what would happen? Well, you would just stay in that reality until the next time. And you have to win to get out of that. You're reality. rich. 
But then people would be. But I feel like that's a little. I feel like that's a little unrealistic. <laughs> you're rich. What do you mean? You have you're rich. You can pay those paid actors to keep doing that year round. But if it, to me, it wouldn't be about the losers. It would be a winner's bracket. Like if you win the first three of these that you host, you're involved by do like an ultimate murder mystery party. And maybe the stakes is higher for the championship rounds. People can still come back and play. But I feel like not everyone is going to be. Some people are just going to be actors. Mm. that get invited like you're not always going to get invited to play the big game you might get invited to be an act to play a just role just give some information mm. to play a role yeah you, mm. and you 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 agree like this is my role and then you come just because playing the role is fun too like not guess not it's not just guessing it but being the character is fun like you, you, hell yeah you come in character man sign me up bro I was yeah. going to say, put me on your short list. Right. Yeah, right. Sign me up. I think there's going to be a long list of Sign people. I'll be a stalker. That want to come to this. <laughs> I don't need to be at the party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I dress like this? Yeah. That would be that would be really cool. And I think by the time that the party started, when you came to my house, don't, don't, like, I'll be clear, like, don't come in here acting like you DJ APM. No, 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 no. I'm <laughs> Lamont, I'm Lamont, yeah. Lamont St. Croix. Right. From, <laughs> From Dex Chester. Right. Yeah, I, I'm here. Yeah. I, I believe in yes and. Like so, I, like you saying, like people too cool now. Nobody wants to, I'm dived in. Yeah, and I'm also, to... also another thing I would do if I was rich, <laughs> I would host parties and when you got to my house, your phone would be locked up. Definitely, Ooh. that's number one. Not for, not because no I want to have a freak stuff. off. No, but just stuff. because I've been in situations where you, you're being silly, you're doing stuff and then people pull out their phones and want to record. Yeah. So mm. I think that would be um a, a thing and i would i would i feel like i would have nice parties man i mean you can't now they're illegal but yeah if i could you know nice halloween party no freak offs i want couples no i want i want couples here you know some people who are miserable in their regular lives yeah so i want them to look fun. forward to my parties yeah some healthy fun like i feel like i'm all the way in i'm diving in put the phone away i'm dexter st croix from dorchester <laughs> i'll throw in a boston accent whatever you need yeah maybe i'll do maybe i'll do this I like want to pitch this with you. Yeah, maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll rent the Airbnb and do this. What do you think about like the themed Airbnbs? Because like you could turn, you could spin this into a thing. Like they have themed Airbnbs where it's like Barbie. They have it for the bachelor parties. You could do like your murder mystery house. That's Airbnb. a good question. Like, what would the murder mystery theme be? Mm -hmm. Like, what type of thing are you trying to? Like, are you picking like twenties? Like, like I'm thinking like the Clue mystery. Yeah, like, I might Western. Uh, yeah, I probably 90s. do. I'll probably do twenties. Uh, the twenties were a fun age, like Great Gatsby. Yeah, here it's time. What do you mean, man? <laughs> right when they talk like that. <laughs> yeah, no, we would we would have. I guess we would have different ones, but I think the setting it up three months out will have people. It's fire. Like that's man, definitely like, fire. We gotta we gotta figure this out. We got something. You here. should film a. You should film it. And then we, I would, I would like as we develop the characters, I would connect the characters. Yeah. Mm. So it would be like Dexter St. Croix calling Jefferson Cumberbatch, and they're like they have like a five minute conversation before the like months out before the. Hey party. Jeff, how's the taxes? Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. You got to. They're business associates. Yeah. Oh. See, this is rich people stuff. <laughs> this is you got to be a sick person to, <laughs> to think, think about yeah. this to think. But it's people, good. we can't think of, we gotta go to work. We, we can't, we can't think about yeah. you know, G-Squid on the train. Yeah, rich people, they just have time <laughs> on their hands. They gotta do this. Yeah, man, let's uh, let's bring this home. First of all, we always gotta say this on the Halloween app. If you going out on Halloween, if be, you're doing anything, be safe, safe over everything. This is uh, this safety could be one first. of the funnest holidays, but it's also one of the most dangerous. Yep. Cause people like to wild out. And, and you know, I've been known to go for it. But like as a elder statesman now, don't let the costume fool you. Like, don't go for it if you got things to do. You know what I'm saying? Like Halloween is on a Thursday this year. Are, are they partying all weekend? I think so. I think the parties start from Sunday. Well, I'm saying we're going Thursday into November. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, if you're going to go all out, do it now because the elections are that Tuesday. That's so <laughs> this is the perfect time to go out the world, yeah, that's right true. before that. That's so if you want to if you want the 31st to be your last hoorah, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Right before yeah. the world. Oh, you might get invited to our um, murder, a murder mystery, mystery TV yeah. show. Shout that's out to all the Did we get a call? This uh, we, we got a message. What, but message? What's the message? Let's get um, to that real quick. 
that says, okay, well, I'm sure I can speak for all single moms when I say the world needs some advice from adulthood on navigating sex and dating as a single parent. They've discussed it here and there, but I would love a rundown of their best tips and tricks. As a single parent? I'm going to be honest. I find that single parents are some of the freakiest, freakiest people I've ever met. I'm not even sure that they need advice. I, I feel like single parents need to be given the people with no kids advice on how to maintain a sex mm -hmm. life as you raise a three-year-old. Preach. Preach. I just think you should do it because we've spoke about this before. You got some single parents that are out here no, like, oh, the kid is only two, so we can have sex with the kid, you know, right in the other room on the couch. Don't do that. That's what I Get extreme. a babysitter first of all. Please. Me. If you want to freak off, get a babysitter. Please. Don't put this kid in danger. Please. Uh, aside from that, once you reach your late 20s, mo kids is part of the person you're going to date, whether you have it or not. The world is your oyster. Finding somebody who don't have a kid as you get older, it gets harder and harder. It's like winning a murder mystery. Every year, it gets more difficult. Yeah. For me to find a 34-year-old woman that hasn't have a kid, they exist. There's a lot out them, but I'm just saying Where? most of them don't. Most of them have a kid. Yeah. And we love them. That's yeah. why she's reaching out, right? I think that, you know... um, Definitely make sure that like it's gonna stop. First of all, I want to say that I have no children, so all of this is like out my. The children people get mad. They at get us. mad. Yeah. So like, <laughs> look, I don't, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. We're, we're telling jokes here, but um, I think like definitely you want to make sure like your, your, your child's safety is first. I don't know if they're talking about. If she's talking about like you know being outside versus if she's talking about like being in a relationship. You know what I mean? Because I noticed that, that there's been that spectrum. I think that like when I was outside and I did have, um, you know, rendezvous with the single mother variety, I loved it because it was a tight schedule. Johnny's at basketball from 6.45 to 7.37. I'm not here for all of the talk. I'm here for you to come do your, you know, you being an African, yeah. right? Yeah. Come do your big African yeah, thing. Yeah, be a big African get out and get because out I got to put dinner <laughs> and I got to clean and I got to take him to school tomorrow. I right. said, whoa. Yeah, you're structure. talking to you like she's your mom. Right? Yeah. Structure. I was yeah. in and I was out. Right. Right? Yeah. So, you know, I think you want to have some structure around, yeah. you know, whatever you're doing. I recommend also Safety. waiting to introduce the kid to the... Yeah. Whatever douchebag you're dating Until at that point. Serious. <laughs> you know, Until like, it's serious. Like, wait, because you don't want the kid building this relationship and you got a new big African man in your house every month. You and, know? and for example, I was never introduced to any of the kids. Yeah. I was introduced to some kids. I'm a kid person, though. I, it's so funny because I, I like I, I've said my piece on kids, but kids, I don't know. I, I they they take a liking to me. It's the stash. I think it's the withholding. Oh. I withhold love and Energy and, uh, and it makes them be like want to play, you know. Uh, uh, totally. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kids and women, they're very similar. With that said, <laughs> this has been a Adulthood Podcast. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. Peace. Peace. <laughs>